The next round is called Between the Lines and features Hugh and Greg. Would you make your way to the press pit, please? Greg delivers a speech in the guise of a leading figure on the world stage <laughs> while Hugh translates what they really mean. <clears throat> Greg, you're American presidential candidate Barack Obama. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to attempt to emulate my political heroes. Luther, Kennedy, Martin Luther King. <laughs> Martin Luther King, what's wrong no, with no, Martin Luther King is fine, it was Luther. I love the idea of your brain's just going, I can offer you the word tangerine, that is it. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to attempt to emulate my political heroes. Lincoln, Kennedy, Luther King. I'm going to be assassinated. <laughs> Hillary is a wonderful politician, and I'm delighted to have her continued support. Loser! Loser! <laughs> George Bush has been giving me some tips. He still thinks I'm the valet who parks his car. <laughs> I have the greatest of respect for all of Senator McCain's achievements. Mmm. Oven chips. <laughs> I will, of course, att I'm sorry, I'm starting to sound like some sort of soul singer now. <laughs> yeah, we got it together, didn't we, babe? <laughs> um, there's just a small note from the desk that I get into my ear. Um, <laughs> Frankie, uh, Hugh, uh, they're just a, a tiny, just a tiny editorial just tweak. If, you know, if we could have stuff which we actually can broadcast. <laughs> uh, <that> would... <laughs> Nobody mentioned that. They have been slagging off. Oh, cramp, man, it's just... <laughs> I'll put, put it in his... Sorry, I'm sorry, that's you really... you a sports yeah. injury in the first 20 know, minutes of the show. Sorry. Morris, dance it off, Russell. Yeah, I can't, man. <laughs> You've got to lie down. I'll be all alone. Leave me alone. You can get down. Get down! I'm going to pass you along. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. Do you think? I got somebody's a... videoing this for a gay website. <laughs> oh, I was... I was going to ask you which bit's in. It's really just telling that the, uh, that the two... Guests in the show yeah. ran to help while the regulars yeah. all sat here. <laughs> and our fat holes going, can't he bounce back? Sorry about yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> there was a fly. There wasn't a fly. There genuinely was... There was a, Did I, you catch it? No, I didn't. What am I, the fucking karate kid or something? No, I didn't. <laughs> Is it, oh. in the last oh. round of Mock the Week, scenes we'd like to see, how many goes am I going to get to go to go? To go. <laughs> to go. Before Russell interrupts me because I've mispronounced what I was trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> the way you three, are, particularly like that, that looked like the evolution of man. They could be walking like that. We'll have to turn that way. <laughs> <laughs> weren't they that Hurricane Katrina was jumped down to I'll start that again. <laughs> what were they saying? I've got goo. I've got goo all over my face. What? <laughs> Not the first time either. Say that, mate. Ding ding. 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 Yeah. Wow. Do you think I look like Piers Brosnan with a mouthful of sweets? <laughs> <laughs> At the end of that round... Oh, OK, sorry, I'll do it without slouching quite as much. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> At the end of the round, I'm bring me more. Why don't you be ironing like, in your like, shirt, right? You just uh, <laughs> In a vest, like, like a fat Marlon Brando at the end of his career. Just, what? Oh, yeah, points for so Russell. Got... Uh, and then back. Got, as it's the, the last week, let's just have you with, like, a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>